You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Well, welcome back to BBN Tonight. You know, we just ended volleyball mm -hmm. season. We're in the middle of baseball and softball, but... Mando, I miss the, the women's basketball team. They're yes. a lot of fun to cover this year. And we've got some big news. Kentucky has hired a new assistant. Yes. That's Coach Gail Guestencourse, and she's going to join us now. We're so excited to have her here and to talk to her. So first off, welcome to Big Blue Nation, Coach Gail. Why Kentucky, and what made you want to join the staff here? Well, I've watched Kentucky for a long time. You know, when I was a coach, both at Duke and at Texas, and then when I worked for ESPN, I was an analyst, and I called for the SEC quite often. So um, I call a lot of their games, and I just fell in love with Lexington and Big Blue Nation, and the crowd was so incredible. It's just, and I like Memorial Gymnasium. It's so small and intimate. It reminded me a lot of Cameron uh, Indoor Stadium. So I've always just had so much respect for the program. And uh, Coach Elsie, she's an amazing young coach. And um, I just felt like I wanted to come and help her really grow this program. In your announcement announcing you'd be joining the program, you said that Coach Elsie has a clear vision of where she wants to take this program. What do you see as that vision and how you're going to be a part of it now? Yeah, she wants to win championships and she wants to do it the right way. You know, she's got so much class and integrity. Everyone across the nation has so much respect for Coach Elsie. And so she loves the up-tempo game. She wants to bring back that defense that they've been known for forever and just really play pressure defense 94 feet and get up and run and take advantage of the great players she has, Ryan Howard in particular. Find different ways to help her score and be productive. That is so exciting. 94 feet of pressure defense. <laughs> you got to love that. So you're a Hall of Famer coach. You succeeded at every level from assistant to head coach, college, WNBA, and <laughs> Team USA. What made you want to get back in the game when you joined Central Michigan as an assistant last season? Yeah, well, I had been out of the college game. I'd still been a part of it. So once I left Texas, I went to the pros. Uh, I was with the LA Sparks, and then I was with the Indiana Fever. And then I decided I really didn't like the pro game as much as the college game because you don't get a chance to really watch them and help them grow for four years. So then uh, working for ESPN, I got to see all different styles of motivating. You know, I saw probably over 100 practices in my four years with ESPN. And then I thought, well, I wanted to be a consultant. So I started my own consulting firm where I was helping young college coaches. And I thought it was fabulous and it really got my juices flowing, but you can only do so much as a consultant. You're not allowed to be on the floor with the players. I miss being a part of a team. I miss being in the locker room. I missed working out players individually and helping, helping them really attain their dreams. So that's why I got back in and I, I've loved every second of it. All right, coach. Here's the big question. Uh, you know that UK fans are not big Duke fans, and it's probably reciprocal. Uh, being there as long as you have been, have you heard from any of those Blue Devils folks saying uh, you can't go there? What are you doing? Uh, absolutely. I've heard from a lot of the old Dukies, and actually some of my cousins, they live in Frankfurt, my uh, aunt and some of my cousins, and they said, you, much, you look much better in this shade of blue. So. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Big yeah. shakeup in the SEC this week. What do you make of Kim Mulkey leaving Baylor for LSU? Well, I think, you know, the SEC, it's always been the premier conference. I think it just took another step up as well. Uh, she's a proven winner, Hall of Famer, obviously. And uh, I think she'll get things turned around very quickly at LSU. So the SEC just got a lot tougher. <laughs> What, what now uh, do you know? I know you're just getting started and everything. You're, you're not quite in Lexington yet, but what do you know about this team uh, that has you excited going into next season? Well, actually, I just got off of a FaceTime with Coach Elsie for about an hour and a half, and, and we had a team meeting via Zoom uh, yesterday. So I'm learning more and more every day, but uh, the players have been great, extremely welcoming. And it feels like a family, and that's that's what you want. You know, you have to be able to rely on one another, to trust one another, and I feel like they're very hungry uh, for championships, and that's that's what you want to have going into the off season, so that everybody gives a little more. If you got to do something bet more, you got to give more. So I think they're all willing to do that. That's awesome. Just one more question: If you could just pick one word to describe you as a coach, what would it be? 
passionate, passionate. Yep. That's awesome. I'm going to bring my passion every day. <laughs> We love it. Can't wait for it. We look forward to having you actually here in Lexington and seeing you out on the court soon enough. Coach Gail, guest in courts. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thanks with more. We'll be right back with more BVN tonight.